गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट सो इन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट वी स्टडी इलेबरेट द फोर टाइप्स ऑफ वेजिटेशन फाउंड ऑन द अर्थ सो हियर ऑन पेज नंबर वन फोर्टी थ्री द ग्रोथ ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वेजिटेशन मेनली डिपेंड्स ऑन मॉइस्चर एंड टेम्परेचर डिपेंडिंग ऑन द अबोव टू फैक्टर्स द फोर टाइप्स ऑफ vegetation are first forest and then you have to write areas receiving very heavy rainfall and has various types of trees grasslands areas which receive moderate rainfall scrubs areas which receives low rainfall having thorny scrubs and tundra spare vegetation in cold polar regions mainly consisting of mosses and lichens question number 9 mention and explain the ways by which wildlife can be conserved effect efforts to conserve wildlife protection and conservation of natural national parks wildlife sanctuaries and biosphere reserves all of the above are established in order to protect not only the natural vegetation but wildlife also awareness of programs such as social forestry and one mahotsav should spread among various communities at urban and rural level school children should be taken to visit nature camps for birds watching and nature walking various countries have made stringent laws and declared certain traits related to skin hides nails and teeth of wild animals as punishable and illegal indian government has banned the killing of endangered birds animals such as deer great indian bustard peacocks lions tigers etc fifth point an international convention c i g e s cites the full form of cites is the convention on the international trade in endangered species so an international convention cites has been established that lists various species of animals and birds in which trading is prohibited so these are the five points question number 10 how can we conserve natural vegetation page number 145 the various ways in which we can conserve natural vegetation are first is reducing soil erosion soil erosion ko reduce karna second planting more trees zyada ped lagana third using native plants for landscaping landscaping ke liye jo plants hai native unhe use karna fourth controlling forest fires forest fires jo hoti hai unhe control karna fifth setting up national parks biosphere reserves to protect vegetation नेशनल पार्क्स और बायोस्पेयर रिजर्व्स को सेट करना ताकि वो वेजिटेशन को प्रोटेक्ट कर सके सिक्स कंजर्वेशन ऑफ लेक्स क्रीक्स एंड वेटलैंड्स टू प्रिवेंट प्रीशियस रिसोर्सेज फ्रॉम डिप्लेशन इन सब को कंजर्व करना लेक्स को क्रीक्स को और वेटलैंड्स को ताकि हम हमारे प्रीशियस रिसोर्सेज को बचा सके Awareness programs like social forestry and वन महोत्सव should be encouraged at all levels. जो social forestry और वन महोत्सव जैसे programs हैं उन्हें सभी levels पर encourage करना and फोर एट point is conserving natural vegetation also helps in maintaining the habitat for wild animals. Your question answers are completed now. we will study ncert corner question answers first answer the following questions which are the two main climatic factors responsible for soil formation the two factors are 
टेम्परेचर एंड रेनफॉल वॉट आर दीज टेम्परेचर एंड रेनफॉल राइट एनी टू रीजन फॉर लैंड डिग्रेडेशन टूडे द टू पॉइंट आर फर्स्ट एक्सपैंडिंग एग्रीकल्चर एरिया एंड सेकेंड बिल्डिंग रोड एंड डैम्स पेज नंबर वन थर्टी सेवन एक्सपैंडिंग एग्रीकल्चर एरिया एंड बिल्डिंग रोड एंड डैम्स वाई इज लैंड कंसिडर्ड एन इम्पोर्टेंट रिसोर्स द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट रिसोर्स इन द अर्थ इज लैंड बिकॉज You have to write here because it is covering nearly thirty percent of Earth's surface, out of which only a small area is inhabitable. Thank you. Question number fourth: Name any two steps that are that are that government has taken to conserve plants and animals. The government has made national wildlife sanctuaries and national parks. and the government encourage one mahotsavs and social forestries these are the two points wildlife sanctuaries and national parks one mahotsav and social forestry fifth and the last one for today suggest three ways to conserve water so the three ways to conserve water are first is rain water harvesting second is afforestation and the third one is recycling used water the first one is rain water harvesting second is afforestation and the third one is recycling used water so tomorrow you will study the remaining question answer and make the chapter completed thank you